What's going on guys? All right, so today I am going to be talking about the importance of a uh, fuel pressure gauge in the 6.0 power stroke and I'm going to go over how to install the blue spring upgrade. Now it's all starts right after this. Okay, so this is why I cannot stress enough that you need a fuel pressure regulator on a 6.0. Right around 80 psi, everything looks normal and I wouldn't know otherwise unless I had this gauge and watch the gauge just go straight down. We're gonna need um, some kind of ratcheting wrench. I use this because it's a whole lot easier with a bunch of extensions with 11 millimeter on it. I'm gonna use this to get the clamps off with this 5 16 nut driver. Um, you can use a flathead screwdriver as well um, to get to um, the blue spring, you gotta use this T25. Um, you can use anything. I just have one on a ratcheting wrench here, um, pair of pliers to get the hoses off because you gotta move your degas bottle. I use these little vacuum nipples on the degas bottle. I put them on there so that I don't leak any coolant when I'm moving that around. And the culprit is this little piece of plastic with this little O-ring. All right guys, so let's get to the front of the truck and get this shit done. All right, folks, to start with, what we're gonna do is, if you've been driving your truck recently, you wanna take your degas bottle off, uh, cap off and let the pressure out of the system. Uh, if you haven't, then don't worry about that step. Also forgot to mention that you're gonna need to unplug your sensor right here um, and remove uh, this guy right here from your, uh, your air cleaner. Okay, so with the charge pipe out of the way, you can see this is the cover we need to take off. Um, these are T25s, there's four of them. All right, I've gotten them all loose and I got the top two that I still need to take out. All right, so if you don't know this, guys, you need to be very careful whenever you're pulling this off because there is a spring behind this under tension and there's a little piece that goes on the end of it. I'll show it to you in a second once I get it out, okay guys? Okay, so I got it separated here, and if you can see right here, that's the blue spring that's under tension, and then there's this little br uh, brass piece on the end of it, like a little plunger, okay? And then this is that little plastic piece that we need to get out, because typically, whenever you're having that problem, this is your culprit. Fuck. <laughs> Just drop that. All right, so your kit's gonna come with that new blue spring. It's gonna come with a new cop or brass plunger right there. And it will come with an, there's an O-ring right here where I'm rubbing my finger. Also that plastic piece right there with a, like a little bitty uh, O-ring on it as well. So <clears throat> I replaced that already. I already have the blue spring. So I'll just be putting this back together and um, starting her up and seeing if all of my fuel pressure problems are fixed. I'll be back. All right, I got her back on there, tightened down, and then I have my sensor back on and it's plugged in. I'm not gonna put the rest of this shit back together because I'm gonna go cycle the key on and off and check to make sure that I have pressure. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I'm cycling the key on here and this is about the fifth or sixth time that I've done it and it's back up to about 80 PSI. I'm gonna go check out under the hood, make sure there's no leaks as far as diesel fuel and if there are no leaks i will be putting it all back together so that i can take it for a ride i'll be back and i wouldn't think that this would need to be said but just put it back together the way that you took it apart <laughs> all right i'll be back all right so uh i'm about to give it the beans going down to zero anymore it was topping out or not it was bottoming out at about 40 psi 
which is still good because you want to remain over 40 psi but evidently i still have a problem even though i replaced that plastic piece so the next step is going to be um checking your fuel filters there's two of them there's one on the chassis and there's one on top of the engine uh, you want to check those make sure that uh, the filter is not twisted um make sure that they're not super super dirty and uh if you check those and those are fine next step is going to be um for me, anyway, the cheaper way is going to be dropping your fuel tank. And if you get that open and everything is fine there, then last but not least, your fuel pump that is on the chassis um, is probably weakening or going bad. I'm not home, so I'm not going to drop my fuel tank. I'll make a uh, make a video about that later. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And if we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.